Good morning, everybody. I wish I could start this vlog off by saying that it's going to be a great, happy, green sky day, but I'm sick. I have to get ready for an audition that I'm going to bring you guys with me. I'm going to kind of explain how it all goes down, auditioning for a commercial out here in L.A. and being signed to an agency, this and that, and modeling. I feel like I look like a mess, bro. I can't breathe. I just demolished this orange, and I have probably around 20 minutes to get ready and completely change my look so I can look good for the camera and then drive out to Beverly Hills and do this audition. So let's go enjoy my tea and get started. So this is the audition that I'm going out for right now. I'm going to blur some of the stuff that, you know, you guys can't really look at. But this is the project name. That's the company that wants me. The rate, basically $3,100 plus the 20% that my agency gets doing today. This is the casting company. Shoot dates, film dates. So basically what that is, the shoot dates is going to be these two specific dates that I need to be here in LA and ready for in case I get booked and then the fitting date six seven what a fitting is is really just like you got to be there for them to look how you're going to be on camera what are you going to wear this and that yada 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 it's kind of like the test day for the shoot where you're not actually filming and then for this specific role they were looking for a male 18 to 25 with really any ethnic background that looks unique cool interesting look or vibe so i'm assuming that's why they chose me because i'm very interesting and unique look at my hair look at my tattoos look at my big fun funky glasses and uh this role is for a male roommate and it says that they want me to look look hip casual and bring a baseball cap but there are no lines nothing for me to read usually when you do go out for auditions almost most of the time they're going to give you a script you got to memorize it. and this is for commercial auditioning it's a lot of what i do commercial auditioning and then modeling i don't do a lot of acting stuff not as much as i would like to I do get like small little short film roles here and there that i get hit up for but that's not through an agency that's just off my own strength but through my agency i get a lot of commercials you know let's say i'll go out for like McDonald's commercial, Panda Express, Walmart, Target. Then I got to say some lines and do this and that. Like, remember I did this Snapchat commercial one time. It was like for Snapchat EDC where I had to go out for like a liquid IV thing. And I was like, whoa, this is great. And just say little lines like that. Go get paid $2,000. Go home, have fun. So let's get ready for this now. I got to look like a male roommate wearing a baseball cap. That's literally all I have. I don't know if I'm going to show up, if it's going to be like a modeling thing where they're just like, hey, we want to see how you look. This is this, that, yada, 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 cool. Or if I get there, they're going to be like, hey, here's a script. Here's 10 lines. Memorize it now. Go. That's sometimes how it goes. I hate that because I'm really bad at memorizing. I need at least 48 hours prior. But... Let's get ready. Okay, so first off, I gotta like start fixing my hair because my hair was like everywhere. And bro, I don't know why I'm sick. I woke up feeling good and literally just within the matter of the last hour, something happened in my body and it was like, bro, you're gonna be sick now. So I have a bunch of baseball hats. I'm supposed to wear a baseball hat. I wanna do this Dodger one, but to be honest, guys, I'm a poser. If you put a gun to my head and say name one Dodger player, I'm dead. I'm done for. That's the end of Jared Murrows, and I don't want to pull up. Maybe the casting director is the biggest Dodger fan. He's like, bro, did you see Timothy Hutt Jr.'s big baseball run this last week? And I'm going to just have to say no, and then I'm going to feel bad. So I'm going to wear this clan life hat the homie gave me from his brand, and it looks like a baseball cap. So it works just off vibe. I feel like I don't look like a college roommate or something, whatever they're going for. But I'm going to just have to try shoot it out the park like a home run and get going i don't know what top to wear so this is the outfit i decided to go with for roommate vibes i have to wear a hat so the hat i went with the gray tones and then the shoes that are the jeremy scott's it's like yellow red to match my hair you guys see what's going on so i feel like i have to like dumb it down for a lot of these commercials because they don't want people that are way too crazy eccentric you know if i were to go with like the wing jeremy scott's and then like a big fire hoodie it'd usually be like eh but I feel like my hair is enough, the glasses are enough, the rings are enough, and me just being me. I'm going to show up, and this is how I assume it's going to go, and we're going to see afterwards. I'm going to show up, they're probably going to give me a couple lines. They're going to be like, hey, pretend you're eating this, this plate of food and make a crazy reaction. And I'm going to be like, whoa, yo, thank the chef for this. And it's going to be something like that. That's literally how the commercial audition is going to go. I'm going to let you guys know after. I'm so sick. I feel terrible. I'm already running late, 
so we gotta go. All right, y'all, I'm taking a vitamin C tablet to hopefully fix me up before the audition. Because if I go in sniffling and I sneeze on that casting director face first, mouthful of spit all in his face, I'm not gonna get the role. So I gotta be at my 100% best. Yeah. One thing I like to do too, that I'm not sure a lot of people do when they're going out to commercials and auditions and this and that, is that I find other commercials by the same company. So let's say for example, I'm going out for Home Depot commercial, right? I'm gonna go on to my phone and just watch a bunch of Home Depot commercials prior to see like, what kind of acting style what do they do because every company is different you know i might go out for like a home depot commercial versus i go out for like an aquafina or a nesquik commercial the acting style is going to be completely different for just like the audience that they're trying to portray so i'm going to look at it watch it i would show you guys but it's nda so i'm not going to tell you the company that i'm going to audition for now but if i do get it i'll make a follow-up video i'll be like look y'all saw me go audition y'all saw me get the commercial and this is how or why I got it, and I can also make other content too, on like previous commercials that I have gotten, and show you guys the commercials, and how it was really just the process into auditioning to actually getting it. But yeah, I really forget that I, I really do this. Like, before I was doing social media and everything else full time, I was just only modeling, acting, and just working in this entire world. So, it's been a couple years. I feel like I got a good knowledge of it, good grasp, and do what I need to do. So it's so funny to walk into auditions, Cause like on the way out right now, going in, I can see like basically the competition and like all the other 18 to 25 like hip cool people. So it's just funny because one of us is going to walk away with this casting. Y'all going bro? Hi y'all, I'm done. Headed out right now. Got a little bit of videos inside, outside. Whole thing on the audition, I said to bring a hat, yada, 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 we're gonna be roommates. And I got there, they're like, hey, you guys actually didn't need to bring a hat. Oh well, I kinda revolved my fit around the hat though, not gonna lie, with the gray tones you guys see, and then the hat had the gray on it. But I'm gonna get back into the whip, I'm gonna explain to you guys kind of how I went down, how the things go. I think I did pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay guys, back home, I am dying. I feel like the sickness that I have has gotten worse. Got cozy now though, but I'm gonna explain to you guys basically how it all went down. So I get there, get into the building, get to the second floor, and it's a lot of people there. When I was talking to casting directors, they said 150 people are going in and, are going in and out of the building today for that exact casting that I'm doing. And at the end, it's only gonna be one lead and then two like side characters that are gonna be chosen. I have 150 people. That's where your chances are when you're going out to in-person auditions. And sometimes you be going out to in-person auditions multiple times a week. And your chances are literally, I want to say, maybe 5% to get the job. But this is what you got to do being in L.A. This is why a lot of people move to L.A. to be models, actors, this and that. Because this is where it goes down. You got to go in, go out, go in, go out, go to different places. And just pray. So like I said, I do a lot of commercial acting and auditions. And this is really what makes good money compared to like regular acting. If you're doing short films, this or that. Unless, you know, once you're getting big, big roles. Like your series leads on TV shows and this and that. Or your reoccurring characters or you're in a movie. That's where the money is, right? But so this job I went in for was a little over $3,000. And when I got there... Uh, sorry guys sorry guys i'm just like all over the place i feel like sneezes are coming they're going but this is just the state that i'm in right now and also right when i got home i got a call from a pr agency that's working with gunna that they want me to head back over to the area i just was at west side of la to go for an event that's going on that they're letting me know last minute and i'm like dude i'm so sick but that's gonna be a whole nother vlog that i'm doing it's gonna be the vlog i upload right after this so if you guys want to stay updated with the life and what's really going on but as soon as i get in right just a bunch of guys sitting down and the role is it's like two roommates and then like the main roommate and it's for a food company, this commercial I did. So we had to get some food, just pretend to eat, talk to each other, yada, yada, yada. And they were they upgraded my, my like, secondary character to a lead role. So I got to audition for the lead role. But usually when you do it, they just record your footage and then they send it off to the company and then they choose who they want. A couple days later, you get a call, your agency gets a call. But this was like a live studio audience, bro. It was like 10 people in there that were just watching us do our stuff and it was like improv this and that we're talking about the food and i was a little nervous but it was all good it was all good i feel like i was definitely one of the most unique 
looking people that was in there just due to my hair and just like the the swag essence that I bring with the jewelry, the tattoos, the this, the that. That could be what they're looking for. But it also could be like, dude, why did y'all bring somebody in with hand tattoos for a so and so commercial? So it's really you never know what you if you're the right person for the job. But overall, that was my day going off to an audition, how I felt. I'm sick. Some days I go to auditions, I feel great, I kill it. I'm like, dude, I got this role, and then I get the role. Some days I'm like, oh, I don't think I got it, but then I end up getting the role anyways. There's some days I think I'm gonna get the role, and I end up not getting it, and I'm literally so depressed. But that's how it is. Another day, another dollar. I'm about to get ready. I have to go to an event now and talk to people, get maybe some pit checks, but it is what it is. Love you guys. Stay tuned. Bye.